Hello, my name is Preston Ashworth, and I am a solutions engineer with F5. And today I want to talk about the F5 distributed cloud. And I want to actually live demonstrate the deployment of an application. It's going to take me about five minutes. Um, on the left here, we've got a private data center. And inside of this data center, in an ESXi environment, we have HTTP bin that is running as a Docker container inside of an Ubuntu VM. And we have what's called a customer edge, which is a uh, F5 distributed cloud node that will form an IPsec tunnel back to the F5 distributed cloud global network. This is a globally available backbone with POPs uh, distributed all across the world. And also in AWS uh, with another customer edge in it. And this CE connects through the AWS internal networks in order to uh, expand these services out through the internet. So the end result will be that clients on the internet are going to be able to connect to a HTTPS load balancer that is load balancing to both of these environments. This is the front door of the F5 distributed cloud and we have a couple of different views that are going to be pertinent to different personas that may want to manage their meta cloud resources and what i'm going to do is i'm going to configure a load balancer this is going to expose the services that uh, http bin um, app that uh, i have running both in my private data center and then we have amazon go ahead and and add those as, as origin pool members behind this load balancer so the way this works, uh, it, I've delegated a subdomain in DNS. So I'm going to go ahead and give this guy a host name. And my subdomain is edge.prestonashworth.com. That's a pretty simple process to delegate that subdomain. The type of load balancer is going to be HTTPS with automatic certificate. I do want to include a redirect. Since I have the domain uh, subdomain delegated, I can actually automate certificate management through Let's Encrypt uh, right here in the GUI. Uh, I can also do this in the API as well. Uh, I do not have an origin pool created, so we're gonna create that really quickly. We've got a few different options here. I could use public DNS if I've got NATs, but um, I wanted this to be as simple as possible. So what we are going to do is create a new origin pool and uh, give it a name, HTT bin pool and we will see uh, how to do this. We've got a couple of different options. I could use public DNS of the origin server if it had it, but what I have, since I have these customer edges on different sites, I want to use the IP address of origin server on given sites. And so my first one, 172.18.255.100, that's going to be inside of my uh, vSphere cluster that I have defined here and on the inside network. These CEs have both an outside and an inside network interface, and so I can put resources behind it and I'm telling it how to get to that server. So I'll add this item. And again, I am going to do this for my AWS backend. That one is 172.28.054, and the site will be my security VPC based deployment of customer edge and it has a network path pointing back to um, this app VPC and I'll go ahead and add that and the only thing I need to change these guys are both listening on port 80 and uh, I'm going to leave these defaults because we're just going to use what's configured on the load balancer I do want to add a health check uh, I do have a HTTP get slash health check already configured. There's no TLS on the back end, and we're done configuring the origin members. So the pool's there. I'm going to go ahead and add this item, and we are about ready to cook with gas. One more thing. I want to go ahead and configure a WAF policy, or add the WAF policy I've previously configured. And this is literally almost purely default values. And then uh, the load balancer algorithm, we're going to use least request and save and exit. Sometimes it takes a minute for that to get through. Oh, the service is already up. So I've got both DNS record. And look, I've got uh, a secure certificate. Everything's ready to go. Uh, so that is how you deploy very rapidly a service inside of the uh, F5 distributed cloud. Thank you very much for watching my demo.